In this video, I will show you how to create boning or any other hard structure for a corset, for a bra, for any kind of undergarments you like. So open up a new file. You can come to File, New, and that will open up a brand new file for you if you have anything in your window. You can also go to Library and select whatever avatar you like. So once you have your avatar in place, let's go to the 3D window. We are going to work with 3D pen, and then we will flatten the pieces, and then we will freeze them. And that is the basics of this structure. So I will start with underwire for the bra. Come to 3D pen and come really close. I chose an avatar that has a bra on her so I can see the shape of the bra cups, but you can choose whatever you like and you can obviously create a different shape. I'm gonna come and start with left clicking for the first point. I'm gonna click command or control on a PC in order to create a curve point and then another command or control for a PC to create a curve point and then come all the way around. When I'm finished with this, I actually want to create a fully complete shape. So the width that you're going to choose right now will be the width of your underwire. So you should choose something that's really thin and then recreate pretty much the same shape with the curves and you can right click and move your avatar. Again, I'm going to hold command to create another curve point and create something that is as symmetric as possible and then make sure that you close the shape. So this is, will be our underwire. Make sure that you like the shape and come to 3D, edit 3D pen if there's anything that you would like to edit. For example, this I think can become, you can click away to deselect and then come and select just the point that you like. You can move it around. You can also add curve points. You can do whatever you like. Once you're finished with the shape, come to flatten and select the shape that you like to flatten which is our underwear let's open both windows so you can see the 2d and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna select the shape that I want to flatten and I'm gonna click enter or return on a Mac and that's going to give us the underwire shape. So in the 2D window, again, if you're not happy with the shape, you can come and change it and edit it however you like. Once you've finished with the editing, you need to come to property editor, select the shape and change the particle distance to five. So we need this to be really thin and fine and small. Once you've done that, make sure that you have transform pattern tool in your hand right click and select clone pattern with linked editing you want to select symmetric pattern with sewing so that will give us the other part of the underwire and you can come to the 3d window if it's in the skin digging in there a little bit make sure that you come to select move tool click on it and utilize the gizmo tool to just pull the shape a little bit and i just need to pull it out a little bit outside and adjust it so it is symmetric to the other one. And now these will be our heart structures or boning. So these will never be simulated. We What we want to do is we want to select both shapes and right click and freeze. Make sure that they're both frozen. And these shapes will stay here as our under structure or the boning for a garment or the underwire for a bra, for example. And now you can come back to the 2D window, create other pattern shapes so you can can create them in the 3D window and you can still stitch anything you like to these shapes either to the edges of them or if you want you can also right click and offset as internal line and choose the distance and that make sure that that line is actually inside so I'm going to move that line inside or it can be also at the edge so you can stitch to the edges of your boning or under structure or you can stitch to this internal line and that you can also make sure that it fits in the line and we can do that by right clicking and uh, extend trim to pattern out line and that snaps them exactly to the line so that will now become our internal line that we can use as a sewing line now in the 3d window we have just the boning for the cups you can come and select the 3d pen for avatar and design any kind of other boning that you like I would just make sure I place them closer to the boning here or they don't have to be whatever your design is for example I'm gonna do and again any shape you like just make sure that your line, your completed shape is really small. And that you close the shape. So that's one. I'm going to create a couple of these. So 
So I'm just going to do three of them. And you can measure exactly what's the distance that you have. So this one I'm going to have to curve a little bit to fit better around the body. When you're done with your shapes, let's say these are my three boning shapes, then you want to come to the flatten tool, select the shapes that you want, and you can hold the shift to select all three of them or just to them one at a time, and then click return or enter. So if it says fail to, let's see which one they failed, and just select that one and click return. Sometimes it says fail to uh, recreate the pattern piece because maybe either the shape is not quite closed or there's something strange with the shape. And usually if you just come in with the edit 3D pen and just edit the shape a little bit, usually it will redo it again. So let's come to the flatten tool, click return and it did it. Once you generate your pattern pieces, make sure that you come to Property Editor and change the particle distance from 20 to 5. Otherwise, those shapes would be awkward and strange. Come and change this to 5. And with 5, you should get much better, uh, finer, thinner lines. And then you can come and utilize your Edit Pattern Tools, Edit Curvature, Edit Curve Point and work with all of the lines to make sure that you have a perfectly uh, straight lines or curved lines, something that looks much more acceptable, uh, refined, and that it meets your expectations of boning, which is a very thin line. So work with all of the lines to create that thin structure. And you can also take a look and see what's your total measurement here and make sure that that matches across all of the lines or all of the boning cross. And again, this is not quite perfect yet. So I'm working with edit curve point and making sure that my boning looks really good. And this one could be a little thinner here. And this one seems like it has a little bit of a crooked line. And this looks much better now. So work until you get all of your lines to be equal, fine, refined. And once you finish with all of them, you can now come to Edit Pattern Tool or Transform Pattern. You can select all three of them, select them one by one, hold the shift, and then you can right click Clone Pattern with Linked Editing. And you create the other side. Once that is done, you want to come to the 3D window and make sure that the lines here are outside the body, they're matching. So they look twisted, but when you look from the side, you can actually see that that's just the curve of the body here. So that's fine. It's just showing how it curves around the bone and around the body. So now that we have these, make sure that you select all of them and make sure if you haven't done that they are frozen. So because I froze these before I cloned them, now all of these shapes are frozen. Now these will never be unfrozen and simulated. These will stay frozen. And now you can create 3D pattern pieces in the 3D window, again with the 3D avatar pen. And you can create your pattern pieces to go in between these, or you can have larger pattern pieces, but then you can stitch the boning to them. And again, you can come to the 2D window, offset as an internal line or just stitch to the contours of those lines and create your corset or boning structure or whatever other garment that you like. Keep these always frozen and simulate the garment with fabric around them. And that was how we create boning or understructure for corsets, bra or anything else that you like. Subscribe to Bobbin Talk. Let me know if you have any comments, any questions. Did I miss anything? Is there anything else that you would like to know? And I hope you enjoyed this.